Greetings everybody, here is a walkthrough for how to replace your basic shapes with actual images, which makes your game look a lot better. So we're going to start as a baseline with just our regular bouncing circle. First I'm going to replace the background with an image of space, and then I will replace the bouncing circle with a picture of a cookie. So the first step is you've got to find your images. Here I've done a Google image search for space background, and I'm just going to grab one. I'll right click and say, uh, what, let's do open image in new tab. No, it's not the best picture, but it's okay. So uh, you got a couple of choices. You could actually save the image as a file and then open it. Instead, I'm going to copy the image, and then I'm going to open paint.net. Paint.net is a paint program that's on all of the lab computers. If you're on your own computer, you can use whatever program you want. Paint.net is free and works on all operating systems, so you could also download that. So here's paint.net, and then I'll paste. It's asking me, do I want to expand the size of the canvas to fit the picture that I copied? And the answer is yes. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, you can save it wherever you want, but you have to remember where it was that you saved it. Uh, I guess I'm going to create a temporary folder in here, which I will call. I'm going to save this as space background. Also notice what file type you're using. So PNG is a certain uh, compression algorithm for pictures, but you could also use JPEG um, or GIF. Uh, PNG is, is a nice safe choice though. So I'll press save and then save. Great. So um, the image part is done. Now the question is how do you get that loaded into your game? So I think the first step is we actually want to find that image file in the file system and drag it into our game folder here. So open your uh, file explorer here um, and find the folder where you saved your image. For me, it was inside pictures, inside temp. And you can actually take this image and drag it straight into your, uh, your project. Asking, do I want to move the file? And the answer is yes, I will move the file. And you should see it show up here, space background. And if you double click it, I believe, yeah, it will open in a tab here for you to see it. Okay, so if you've done all that, now the rest is hopefully going to be pretty simple. So at the top, you need to make a new type of variable called a P image. Um, and I'm going to name it background. You have to hit Alt to enter to import the same way that we've imported other things. Then we actually have to load the image here in setup. So I'm going to say background, which is the name of my image variable. And there's a command called load image, where you give it the file name that you want. So for me, that's space background. And then instead of drawing a background, what we're going to do is we're going to draw an image. And the image we want to display is background. And I want its upper left hand corner to be at 0, 0. So I'm saying display this picture at zero, zero, um, and if the picture is big enough, it will take up the whole screen. So let's see what it looks like when we run it. Great. Um, the image is actually probably quite a bit larger than my screen size here, so let me show you what you can do if your image is the wrong size. Inside setup, you can resize it directly by saying resize. So let's say I wanted to resize the whole image so that it was only 100 by 100. I could do that. And now you see it's fairly tiny. Um, so I'm going to resize it so that it's the exact size of my screen, which is 600 by 600. That's OK. What I'm noticing is it looks kind of horizontally compressed because the original dimensions of the picture weren't a square. Um, and here they are a square. So I think that I'm actually going to delete that entirely and leave it the way that it originally was. Let me show you what the most common problem looks like. Let's pretend that I'd left off the .png, or that I'd mistyped my file name by having a lowercase b. If I run it now, you'll see that it appears to be doing nothing. And then if I look inside my console, if you scroll to the very top of the error message, it says the file name space background is missing or inaccessible. So if you see this message, it's a sign that you have mistyped your file name or that your file doesn't actually live in the right place. You didn't actually put it inside your folder here. 
Come back in the next video um, to replace the bouncing circle with a picture of a cookie.